N4H NH here with the Yaesu FT891. Uh, one of my subscribers had a great question. Uh, JB asked the question. I'm going to answer it in this video. Um, the blue light you see flickering there on this rig, that is something you can turn on in the menu. I'll show you where it is. Long press the function key and it's going to be down near the front of the menu where you've got things associated with lighting uh, indicators there there it was right there zin led okay that's uh, menu 02-6 that stands for the zero in led you need to enable it uh, because by default it is not enabled and when you do what you can do is when you're uh, listening to a cw station um, when that light's blue, let's see if I can find somebody. Are you kidding me? 30 meter band. And by the way, it was just booming a minute ago when I, when I decided to shoot this video. Let's see. I have to, may have to switch to a different band. There we go. Okay, see the blue light beginning to flicker there when I'm I'm on 112. Now see, not everybody's gonna be exactly straight up on frequency. Uh, so let me show you something here in the menu. When you press the menu so many times and you get over here to the CW setting menu, um, you'll see where you can set your desired pitch. Now I've got mine set at 550. That's just the tone that I like. That's the side tone pitch I like. Um, and then, um, of course, there's our old pal APF, which is a, a monster. Um, but this ZIN right here, what that is, uh, and I went ahead and programmed it as my uh, first button here, my A button. You don't, you know, you can, these are optional. I, you just put the arrow on. If I wanted it to be APF, then I would put it on APF and long press the A. And see, now that button is APF but I want it to be zero in, so I long press A, and now it's my zero in. So let me clean this up a little bit. I'm gonna, see the width is at 500. I'm gonna knock it down to about 50. And um, you hear him faintly out there? Kick on the APF, audio peak filter. Brings them in even more. Now I can do it from in here, but the, but you see the point that I the reason I did the long press on A is so that I have the zero in always available to me um, when I'm here like this. Okay, so what that's going to do is if he's a little bit off frequency, but I still want to hear him at 550 hertz, I press the Z I N the zero in. And it's like an auto spot, if you want to think of it that way. You know, the spot button on some rigs, you hold it down, it makes your side tone, and you adjust the VFO till you get the um, the tones to match. Well, essentially, instead of having to do that, you just um, you just touch, uh, you use the zero in until, there we go, until it locks on to the exact frequency that I need to be listening to him at in order to get a 550 hertz side tone so there we go when the when the blue light is lighting up let me zoom in a little bit there when the blue light is lighting like that um i've, I've nailed it now you can do that manually you don't want to have your fast button in, enabled see the fast if you're going to do it manually because you need the incremental tuning but see as i as i moved away i lost the blue light is not not solid anymore not not blinking as much there we go uh, see I'm off again well he's not sending okay that guy there is it seems like he's best at dot nine eight five wherever you get the most blue all right let's see on that strong station to come back here come on you guys hear any uh banging in the background that's fireworks it's july 4th 
and the neighbors are having fun. There we go. So that was just manually doing it with the with the knob, with the VFO knob, the tuning dial. But you can also just keep pressing ZIN until you get a blue light. It, it's got him locked in now. So that's what that's for, that blue light. It's a pretty cool feature um, once, you, once you learn what, it all, what it's all about. When I'm backpacking with the rig, I, I sometimes turn that off, uh, disable that, just because, um, well, I'm trying to conserve my battery that I carry in the backpack uh, for summits on the air. Okay, I hope that helped. I uh, hope you found the uh, video informative. And thanks for the question, uh, JB. That was a great question. 73 from N4, HNH.